Television Television is back, and now your hosts, Victor Zamora and Adam Kanapka. Prepared to be amazed. Amazed by what? You doing magic? <laughs> yeah, right. More like prepared to be more disappointed. Maybe. I mean, it's not like it's not a big deal or anything. Yeah, you are right. It's a huge deal. Please, not this again. No, no. Now listen to me. The last time I let you do magic, my car vanished into thin air. As usual, there was a large sheet involved. The magician always seems to have an extra king-size sheet lying around just in case. He's prepared for anything. The assistants cover up the Bentley. The magician steps forward and tells us to keep an eye on the super luxury vehicle. The girls raise the sheet for a moment And now they're lowering it back over the car. Something's different. Let's get a better look. The Bentley has magically turned into a Lamborghini full of fun, complete with WWE. I still can't believe you wore the mask. I can't believe you're so upset about a car. It was my car. My car, it was. The car, it mine, it was. I can't believe you took the car I had, it was. You should be happy. I made your car into a Lamborghini. <laughs> Get it? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. I love that car. It was my Bentley. I, I don't think anything satisfies you. You didn't like the car, you didn't like the girls. What's with you? My Bentley satisfied me. It's not for commercial. Stay tuned. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. I'm Adam Kanapka. And I'm Victor Zamora. And today... We are going to interview... A vampire. Yay. That's me. I'm a vampire. So, vampire. Yes. He has some questions for you. Ah. That what he are... wants to ask you. Okay. All right. What are your opinions on magic. <sighs> magic is not real, but I, a vampire, am real. No, magic's, magic's real. It's... Prove it. Do you have any questions for a vampire? No, I kind of want to see where this goes, so carry on. Ma All right, if you want to see if magic is real, stay tuned for our next segment. Now, do you have a question for vampire? <laughs> Doing the oldest trick in the book, next segment, I see. Well. As a vampire, yeah. I must ask, what do you not like to eat on a midsummer night's morning? On a midsummer night's morning. What do you not like to eat? Um, blood laced with garlic. Ooh. It's never good for the stomach. Do never vampires good. eat blood with garlic? That seems really bad. They say it enhances the flavor, but not really. Is it kind of like, with milk and like lactose intolerant, where like on some like sometimes you can divulge, but kind of, a little bit, you know. You don't want to mix milk and oil, you know. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. So, but um, another question: um, Have you ever seen an Interview with a Vampire? That... Yes, it was slightly based off of my life. Oh, yeah. Really? I had a cousin who interviewed me. He's like, "Why not make a movie about this?" And I was like, "Okay." You, you can do it. Were you on set while they were filming just so you can help the actors like get into more character? No, unfortunately oh. I was helping my other cousin Edward. Wait. Wait. From the Twilight series. Were you a part of that set? That I was. I was that really, really big tree. 
What? You got yeah. to... Mm -hmm. Where people were sitting on my shoulders and I was just... Wait, a tree? Yeah, I was a tree. Couldn't be like a vampire? No, the I didn't. I wasn't ready for the media. I was... I want to keep it low key. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Kind of very humble of you. Very. I'm just speechless. <laughs> Can you ask a question? I'm just... Wow. But I know what, someone who knows a famous person. What's the best story from being on set on Twilight as a tree? Ah, uh, well, I mean, Bella did scratch her ass on me once. Oh. And then mm -hmm. I told her to get off me. <laughs> they don't pay me enough for this. So well, that was interesting. That was a fun day. Well, yeah. it's, always, it's always a wonder, amazement, fr just bodacious for you to come on commercial. Thank you for having me. Soon. Got it all wrong. Mr. Trumbull's under arrest for a felony. Excuse me, I'm Mrs. Trumbull. You know where my husband is? In the booking room, right over here. Just empty your pockets, please, sir. I was with my daughter. Oh, there you are, right? Sir, can I have a business address, please? Yes, at 2107 Doral in Lenville. Stand still, sir. Face front, thank you. All right, right this way, sir. So, Joe, would you call my wife to mobile a light? Yeah. Maybe your eyes thumped. Everything. I've never been in trouble Antex in my life. Antex finger, please. You're allowed have one telephone call. If you wish to call your attorney, you may. Your dick's it's number. Right this way, sir. Yes, yes, please call him. I will. Yeah, okay, let's go. And I'll need your belt and your shoes. Why? There must be some kind of a mistake, officer. I'm not a criminal. In here. It was an accident. I didn't mean to start a fire. If you're guilty of starting a forest fire, even accidentally, you'll pay for it. Now, where could my co-host be? Who's ready for some magic? You ready for some magic? I guess. Let's go. Prepared to be amazed. Okay. As not only do I prove magic is real, I will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. I will make flowers disappear from out and over. I do like flowers. Drum roll, please. Flowers. Well, beautiful, pretty. beautiful flowers. You know what, Victor? Magic seems pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. I, th I, think I, uh, I think I misjudged it. Do you want to see another trick? Sure. Uh. Oh. <laughs> That's it for tonight. Make sure to stay tuned for your local news.